welcome to another edition of Red Hat Whiteboarding Videos. My name is Avi Ghosh. I'm a Territory Services Manager for Red Hat Consulting. And I'm Jason Woods, and I'm a Principal Consultant with Red Hat. And we're here to talk to you about Red Hat Hyperconverged Infrastructure. So Jason, I have a customer that's deployed virtualization across several retail sites all over the country. They're trying to reduce their IT spend, consolidate all of their systems for a smaller footprint, and do this all on less expensive hardware. How can Red Hat help them do this? Well, Red Hat has a product called Red Hat Hyperconverged Infrastructure. This is a combination of Red Hat Virtualization and Red Hat Gluster Storage. The two products combined together will be managed under a single interface that allows the customer to have both uh, storage, compute, and network interfaces under one management. This is great. It looks like we can accomplish a smaller footprint, and that will help for uh, multiple remote sites. It'll be a very convenient way to manage all that. So describe the architecture for me. The hyperconverged infrastructure is a combination of three, the minimum of three hosts that allows you to have the storage, the network, and the compute resources together. This is all managed with the same rev management on rev host with the Gluster storage as the base. So you described a three host system. Why is that? Could it be more? Could it be less? Is that an exact number? Can you elaborate on that? Okay. We use a Replica 3 for data model for our storage in Gluster, and Gluster uh, uses this in three, six, or nine nodes in the, in the cluster. This allows us to have uh, a, a mitigation against split brain. Split brain is something that can happen in clustered systems where the, the data integrity can be lost and this maintains it. Wonderful, so, so what's, what's the benefit of this architecture? Okay. This architecture can be used as for a customer site where they have less environment space, uh, branch office, small office, that also um, allows us to have local storage, but yet be centrally backed up with a small footprint on site. And another environment that this could be used in would be uh, point of sale systems for a customer's uh, environment where the point of sale system controllers are in the same environment, in the network environment that the terminals are located in. This allows us to use the, the point of sale systems to be controlled locally, yet have a centralized data structure. So I appreciate you talking about point of sale systems and, and you know, it's going to resonate with my retail customer, but can you explain some other scenarios where hyperconverged infrastructure makes sense? The, another advantage of this is the small footprint. So you could have it where your, your facilities have low storage space or rack space. You could also have it where you're doing co-location, where you're paying by the, the U that you're, you're using. So Jason, this all sounds great. But can you give me an example of some of the challenges that one might face when deploying hyperconverged infrastructure? Sure. One of the challenges is performance. Performance is directly related to the number of disks and the type of storage that is used for the environment. Red Hat has worked with customers and come up with an RHHI best practices guide for the environment. And also, working with customers, we also can see what workloads will fit within it. Thanks so much, Jason. That was very informative and insightful. If you'd like to find out more about Red Hat's hyperconverged infrastructure, please reach out to your account exec and start a conversation, or visit redhat.com/services and explore our trainings and consulting offerings. Thank you for your time.